This year, the Minister for Finance faces an extremely difficult task in framing Budget 2021. This budget will be like no other, with a key priority being to provide support for areas most in need, but with a clearer shift in budgetary and fiscal policy towards supporting economic recovery. This budget has been formulated against the backdrop of two key ongoing challenges for Irish businesses. Firstly, the unprecedented economic damage and societal shock being caused by the pandemic. And secondly, the increasing prospect of a no-deal Brexit. So never before has it been so critical to use all the tools of fiscal policy to support economic activity and innovation in Irish businesses so as to stimulate growth and employment. And so what will this mean for Irish businesses? Irish entrepreneurs take serious financial risk on a daily basis in running their business. And we would again call for the Irish tax regime to recognise and reward this. There should be no question but that the entrepreneur relief, which is a 10% CGT rate in the first million of gain, should be retained and enhanced from its current limit. And that that same rate should be extended to apply to dividend payments from Irish companies in certain circumstances. The good news is that the Minister has firm his commitment that there will be no increase to income tax or USC in this budget. And there was a welcome recognition in the programme for government that the income tax rate differential of 3% between employees and the self-employed should be reduced over time. But there is concern about the proposed increase in self-employed PRSI from 4% to 5.75%, ultimately rising to 11% by Budget 2024. This would have a negative impact on business people, professionals and entrepreneurs. The rumoured reduction in the main CGT rate from 33% would be a welcome move and should hopefully stimulate more transactions and investment into Irish businesses. However, such a reduction in the rate of CGT, which is among the highest in Europe, cannot come at the cost of existing tax reliefs, particularly those targeted at the transfer of businesses from one generation to another. We would like to see other key tax measures irrelevant to Irish business provided for in the budget, including supports on the people front when businesses will be relying heavily on their staff at a time they are adjusting to remote working. So enhancing measures such as the Share Incentive Scheme for SMEs called KEEP and introducing tax reliefs for investment in remote working would be welcome. Equally important would be measures to encourage funding into Irish businesses, for example extending the scope of the existing EIIS relief to founders and connected parties, and introducing a CGT exemption for passive investors investing in COVID-effective businesses during 2020, subject to a range of conditions of course. Tax policy also plays its role in the Green Agenda. With a government that is the greenest in our history and with buy-in from Irish businesses, it is important that this budget is creative with measures to encourage investment in green energy. The July stimulus introduced welcome provisions for the carryback of loss release for the self-employed. We would suggest that this should not simply be a COVID-19 specific measure and instead should be a permanent feature of Ireland's income tax regime, as is already the case for corporation tax. We would strongly advise Irish businesses to be fully aware of all of the various COVID-related tax and funding measures that have been introduced over the last six months to help businesses through these challenging times. So this budget needs to deliver on a fine balancing act between being creative with tax policy to support Irish businesses in the near term, while also laying out the path to collecting more revenues in the long term. We really hope that the Minister recognises the breadth and depth of challenges facing Irish businesses and introduces a range of measures to encourage investment, innovation, growth and employment by Irish businesses. They are the backbone of the Irish economy and a critical part of our road to recovery.